in 2011, Terminos first put our software in the cloud. And at that point, the cloud platforms themselves were relatively embryonic. And pretty much it was about using the infrastructure as a service. So, you know, terms like iron in the sky, compute in the cloud, whatever. It, it was just using the bare bones metal and then deploying the software in exactly the same way that we always had. Whereas if you look now, the difference between say the Microsoft Azure platform in 2019 compared to 2011 is massively different. There's so many more platform services available that we can leverage. And that's exactly what we're doing. So for each of the cloud platforms, we're going in and we're saying, right, what services are available that make sense? Infrastructure services like firewall, load balancers, queuing, all of that kind of uh, almost like paperclip stuff from a, a technology point of view. Things that people don't want to install and don't want to manage, those are now available as services. And that's what we're giving to our customers the ability to use that. But you take it further and things that the, the application tier, like the, um, the container managers, and it's something that is really key now to the way we're running our software. It's all about containers and the scaling of that and how those are handled are all now handled by a service from the cloud platform. So as a bank, I don't need to run this. And you can extend that to, to queues I mentioned before, and also to the database. The cloud platforms are giving choice of database as a service, which can plug into the platform. So it means end to end, we're using all of the cloud platform features, and that's really what it means to be cloud native. NewDB being cloud agnostic and cloud native, They've taken very much the same approach that Terminos have to exactly those same two issues. So they're cloud agnostic, meaning they can run on the different cloud platforms and they leverage the cloud platform itself um, and that's the cloud native piece. So in the same way that the Terminos software is leveraging the cloud platforms, that's exactly what NeuroDB is doing. Um, and more interestingly, because they are cloud native, they can run across cloud and they can do that active active. So you can have your data at the same time in two different cloud platforms. And that's something that we don't think anybody could else can offer, certainly not in the banking space. So that's a real uh, you know, differentiator that, that we have with our partnership with Neuro. The distributed piece is the extension of that. The distributed part says, this enables us to scale out the processing nodes of a database from the storage manager. From you know, the benchmarks that I've been involved with over the years, working with Oracle, as you really push the load through of tens of thousands of transactions per second, the database becomes a bottleneck. It spends so much time replicating between its nodes, which you need for a high availability solution, which you need for banking, that you can't process the transactions that you're pushing through. Now, with the distributed database, that processing is, is decoupled and you can scale out the transaction processing nodes um, in the same way that you can um, the containerized application nodes. And that gives you that elastic scale. So if there's one thing I'd like people to understand about Terminos Transact and Terminos Infinity and the, the, the cloud platform changes that we're making, it's that Terminos software is both cloud agnostic and cloud native together. And it's a great dichotomy. And it, it's purposely positioned that way because we want to give our customers choice. It's a Terminos you know, tenet from, from forever that we want to be able to give our customers choice to run on any cloud platform they choose. In 2019, we'll be looking at what we are supporting, um, AWS, GCP, and Azure. So we're cloud agnostic. You can run on any of those cloud platforms, but we're cloud native meaning we really leverage the cloud platforms themselves. So everything that you look at, when you look at the reference architectures for the three platforms and you put it in front of an architect from one of these organizations, it looks like a native implementation because it is. So that one thing, it's cloud agnostic and it's cloud native together.